okay guys today we are going to see the characteristics of nephralo delaminensis the another floor species of our biology one topics this year this will come for 20 marks guys for full 20 marks no 10 or no 15 we are 20 marks so understand the importance of these topics in order to raise your total tally of marks nephralo delaminensis well nephralo means toxic dela means two minensis means central cords with reproduction capacities hence the full name the toxic floor species with two central cords with reproduction capacities as you see here in the sketch, the flower species may look like any other ordinary species, but it isn't anyways. You can find them only in African countries due to its hot conditions and soil requirements along with other necessary climatic conditions. As you see in the sketch, or even as in general, any flower species you can divide in three parts stem, main flower body, and the upper solitary parts, if any. You can find most of flower species with their reproduction system in their main flower body. But species like Nephralodelaminensis has other things to show us. Yes. Its main reproduction mechanism lies in its main body part only. But that isn't enough guys. Its bilateral nature of cords and its teeth causes the real reproduction processes. Hence this makes the species different than others guys. This is the overall information about the species. So now go to the details of each aspect of it. We'll start with its stem. The stem is like any other flower species. It is of different nature this time. It has straight stem until it comes to its main flower body. The stem supports the main flower by cup shaped body arrangements, like the other flower species. But here, this cup shaped body parts has thorns over it. Not big size, but smaller ones. To add the misery, the small size thorns too are toxic. Like its bilateral cords. This space is toxic in two ways. One, at its cup-shaped stem part. And other, at its dual cords at upper body part. Hence the name Nephra. In the Roman language, it then became nephralo. So, toxic stems and toxic cords justify its name as per its meaning. Moving ahead, it has five petals main body with cup shaped like arrangements with three production system at its core part. The five petals are well beautiful in its aesthetics. But it is to attract insects towards it to swallow the juice which is toxic due to its bilateral cord nature. Once the insect swallows it, it becomes second way of food for the flower. The first way is obviously through soil properties. So these insects are bonus over it.
to tell about its soil properties it grows in bunch with the foliage of thorn leaf stems hence living creatures do avoid in getting in touch with it in other ways you can say it is the survival cover provided by nature to them as a protective cover to save them from getting harmed by other living things to top it up it has toxic nature along with thorn body at parts so moving ahead to its main body structure the five petal body has its core within it well guarded by these petals these petals do maintain their shape and posture as it do not get closed or get back open again like hunter flowers who gulp insects as their food as a secondary source hence it has a solid base of main body structure then the reproduction core it has a connection for those two bilateral cords which then go out from its main body of petals they do go away freely and even out of their main body structure limit hence the tip part of it allows to drop juice balls in soil that too outside of flower structure body to allow the multiplication processes of species that is how you do find them in bunches or bush like structure frame in all that is how it grows and multiplies itself in bunches further the two bilateral cords do carry two properties the toxic nature and reproduction multiplication nature the tip of these bilateral cords are interesting to see it has all kinds of dynamic properties to look at it has birds all over the tip part supported by small stems now the reproduction juice which is prepared in main core is then traveled through this bilateral cords to then drop it to the soil through its tip part that is how it multiplies it to form thick bush like foliage plus these two bilateral cords smell very nice to attract insects so in all insects do get attracted by two things of it one the beautifully aesthetic petals and two sweetly smelled bilateral cords and then they do get trapped inside of flower talking about its leaves these are any other leaves that you can find in any flower species its leaves are having corrugated edges though not flashy thin edged having dense network of leaf skeletal hence you can find its leaves thick in nature to supports its overall nature to make it more interesting it do place themselves straight which is rare for any leaves when it comes to their basic nature now in exam point of view we need to explain its basic theory then its ground structure in relation to soil then leaves foliage moving then towards its stem then main flower body petal structure and reproduction core then bilateral cords with birds at the tip all you need to explain along with diagrams please remember if diagram is not drawn in exam then you would get only 10 marks even if you write a book over it no way for all those meaningless writings if you don't explain it with diagram i would say you should draw a main sketch of full flower species body and when it comes to its detailed explanation of each part you should draw part diagrams of it to explain that particular detail in a way it will be the visual kind of data explanation to detail out all information of this topic even if you draw those part diagrams in hurry just to explain its part in briefs it is okay it is for value addition only but but you need to draw main diagram in detail 
Our book diagram is well drawn sketch to explain all these. So do we have a well practice of it? It would cover your 5 to 7 marks. Rest all theory will revolve around it. Theory part you don't have to write in essay. In fact, you should write it in point wise manner. The paper checking staff always look for some key words of it. So do take note of all important terminologies of it. Because it would give exact meaning to your all theory part. Plus if you get time in the end, underline these terminologies to highlight them. But make sure you should write exact terminology at exact place only. Kumar, I do have to mention your case over here. I have checked your paper last time around. And I do saw a lot of detailed answers with well detailed diagrams. But you made lot of mistakes in writing terminologies of it. For example, to write Megapolis Hydra, you wrote Metropolis Hydra. <laughs> Kumar, Metropolis, wo bhi bio one me. Kya tu bhi Kumar? <laughs> quiet, quiet, please. Kumar's case is important to know what it can happen with you. He was very close to get eighteen out of twenty marks, but due to wrong terminologies at wrong places. He then could manage to get only 12 marks out of 20 because because of the wrong terminologies the whole meaning of that theory gets changed obviously for wrong ways so kumar's case is stand out example for you people where he worked very hard for this topic but thrown it away everything in the end so I request all of you to prepare all terminologies well. I could tell you one trick for study's point of view. You can remember the topic by its basic concept, that too as a story. You could remember it till many years. But yes, you could find it difficult to remember all these terminologies. So to it, I would say, if you find it way too difficult to remember it as a story, then you can simply memorize it. Galat baat hogi, lekin kehna pad raha hai mujhe. You should go for ratta policy for it. <laughs> oh, quiet, quiet, no mazak on this. It is serious business I am talking about. Ratta maro das das bar. Wo bhi ek ek terminology ki. Fir dekho, no one would dare to cut your marks in these 20 marks questions. If you produce all things in right way, no one would dare to cut your marks in this 20 marks question. If you produce all things in right way, you could score at least 18 marks in it. Minimum. Minimum I am saying. And if paper examining staff gets fully happy with your total conduct, then you can get 20 out of 20 if you are lucky enough at it. So guys, lot to do in it. But if you prepare it well and streamline all this, you could easily score in it. You just need to follow some tricks to crack it in easy ways. Any questions? I guess I have detailed out everything for you people. So if any doubts are there, then please let me know. I don't want any short efforts in this topic. Yes, Madhuri, tell me, how can I help you in your queries? Ma'am, is this the flaw spacey that is used in making toxic medicines or giving anesthesia for some time in operations? And plus, is it used to prepare soaps for animals for their bath and washing? I read somewhere about it on internet. So is it true ma'am? People, we should clap first for Madhuri here. All of you please. Yeah Madhuri. Well done girl. Well done. Yeah. 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 
ओके ओके क्वाइट नाउ वेल डन माधुरी इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर टू नो आउट ऑफ द टॉपिक जस्ट फॉर यूर इंफॉर्मेशन येस दीज टू थिंग्स आर वेरी वेरी मच राइट इफ यू आस्क मी यूरोपियन कंट्रीज डू ट्रेड इट फ्रॉम अफ्रीकन कंट्रीज टू मेक देयर रिसर्च वर्क इन डिटेल इट इज यूज टू गिव एनेस्थेशिया ड्यूरिंग ऑपरेशंस इट इज यूज इन हिप्नोटिक सेशंस टू टू एक्सट्रैक्ट यूर माइंड फॉर गुड थ्री टू फोर आवर्स फॉर स्मॉल हिप्नोटिक सेशंस दो इट इज इन नीडिड बट येस फॉर लॉन्गर सेशंस स्पेशलिस्ट डू टेक हेल्प ऑफ इट so you are right in your information madhuri when it comes to animals they do give them medicinal bath to secure them from external diseases or skin related issues but they do give it as a last measure to do for animals otherwise regular measures are good enough to protect animals from skin related issues so these two things are very much correct in terms of exact information madhuri you could get it learned in phd studies if you want to pursue it in biology one subject there in phd studies you could get to learn in detail about both operation procedures and animal treatments there are two separate topics on it to learn all exact about it okay then good to see you people are alert in your studies nice to see okay so for our this topic i would request all of you to study it well as a story learn your terminologies well and draw the diagram in fluent way okay guys lecture is over if you don't have any more queries over this topic anything else ravi एकता अवधूत ईश्वर एनी क्वेरीज नो मैम ऑल थिंग्स आर वेल कवर्ड मैम ओके देन गुड आई होप यू पीपल कैन स्कोर बल्क ऑफ द मार्क्स इन दिस टॉपिक ओके द लेक्चर इज ओवर फॉर नाउ